He's so wow. Oh, wow. I bet you I can get up, make myself breakfast, and come back still alive. <clears throat> Alright, cool, I'm back. How we doing out here? Oh, that's pretty good. Not a bad circle at all, man. It was really hard. I outlived 100 people. I'm actually better than those 100 people while making food. That's what the game means. That's why winning matters. That's a very tempting loadout over there. Really makes me want to get Ghost a second time. You know, you really start to appreciate the game and how alive it feels when you're just sitting here. I wish somebody was spectating me just so they could really truly see the power. I really hope we just get a singular spectator. I hope someone just randomly lands on us. Now here's the thing, if this circle actually has to move, what do we do? I guess just try to stay up in the mountains. Gas is moving. Oh, we're still safe, baby, yeah. I honestly thought somebody was climbing up the rocks to my right. I was actually gonna shit myself. All right, are we gonna get lucky? Probably not. Oh my god. This should be safe, right? Uh-oh. We have Ghost on. We don't need to worry. We have no fear. He'll never know we're there. See? Invisible. Like a ghost. The funny thing is, I'm wearing all black and just like a bunch of green bushes. Ow, what the fuck? Boy, you are bad. <laughs> oh my god, that ran him over. Yeah, this food tastes a lot better while eating it in victory. Bro, I literally got ghosts first class, laid down in a fucking bush, made myself some breakfast, and ate it here. See, and they're completely fine with it. They probably aren't even here. They're here eating breakfast. I need some Pepto. I woke up with about 20,000 Hellfire spawn in my throat this morning. It was nuts. The amount of acid I just... Holy shit. All right, so since you guys saw that in that intro, and I mean, really, that intro is like three minutes long. It's basically just part of the video. I guess we'll go lumber all the way over here. Why not? I like these super chill games that I have for my videos, because otherwise it's just going to be me dying about... Honestly, probably only a total of like three times considering it takes me about 10 minutes to get into a game, by the way. That's one thing I think they need to do in terms of like quality of life on Warzone. I think they really need to cut down the amount of time it takes to get into a game. It takes far too long. I'm making my way over. UAV already. I'm gonna loot this while that UAV is running. I, I can't go outside completely. I've been seeing a lot of people run the uh, long range version of the Fara now recently. Uh, I guess people are kind of moving away from using it as like an SMG and are now using it as like an actual AR. I don't really know what people are doing at the moment. I mean, the meta, I actually really like the meta at the moment. Besides the fact that, you know, the sniper rifles are kind of lackluster, besides the Car 98 anyway. I know usually you want to push people without the vehicles early so they don't know you're coming, but. It's likely that this guy probably has, like, a heartbeat sensor and is just sitting there, or since he got marked, he's just gonna sit there anyway and not move. Two guys over there. No way! Where are you guys? Hello? I'm just gonna go buy a UAV real quick. Fuck the loadout, I'll get it in a second. Request recon flyover. UAV entering the AO. Come here, you little rat. You had to come out eventually, buddy. 
Okay. He's right over there. I'm just gonna hold him out of the circle. He, if he thinks he can just move safely, I'm literally gonna hold him out of the gas. I do not care. Or I hate the fact that this this player is gonna actually play like this. And the fact that I, there's nothing I can actually do to stop him other than try to push and just end up getting completely bullied by the positioning on this game. And unless he escaped out from the other side completely, he has to be out here. I hate solos, man. I, I hate it so much. I hate the way people play. I don't know if he left the game or if he just basically just sat around, stared at his radar, and just walked around me. It's so sad that people are this good at being sneaky, but nothing else. It really shows. A good one, man. I guess. I'm gonna go back over towards that supply drop thingy. I want to see if that guy walked back over there to go get his. No. Doesn't look like he ever came for it. That must have been his, too, because we were, like, the only ones out here. This must be his. Oh, if he's still in this game, I'm... Yeah, I'm singling this guy out. If the guy's still in this game, he ain't getting this. Doesn't look like he's getting the car, either. So where could he have gone? He might be making a big rotation over towards this SUV. No, solos are something special, that's for sure. Could chase a player, and they could just run for their lives and actually get away. So sad that these guys won't just turn around and fight me, when we both know that neither of us have loadout for any reason. I don't. Oh. Think I'm not flying over there to get my. I think I hear somebody. I'm just gonna have to bust out and risk it. I didn't know if the guy actually like uh, threw a C4 on it or anything like that. So that was a risk right there. That's all the only choice I had. I didn't know if there was another player over top of me. I really did feel like that there was a second player there, but it just never happened. Immediately just does everything he can to destroy my vehicle. There's somebody up here? Die walking out here like this. I used to really like landing out here, but this buy station sucks so bad if any of these guys are actually here. So, this guy's sitting on top of the building over here. I want this truck. I, I stopped shooting because I thought... Dude, Ghost is just so ridiculous and so... Might just become a Ghost player, to be honest. Much more relaxing. The fact that I could still even get even near 10 kills while not even playing and just making food instead is just... I don't know how to feel about that. I know in solos, getting consistently over 20 is kind of annoying. It's, it's not that, you know, you, you can't be good enough to kill 20 players. It's just coming across 20 players and then coming across 20 plus different situations where those players don't have you completely... Oh, a lot of good ninja did you there. Top two, I don't know if he realizes it's only him and one other dude now, and that guy definitely heard the explosion in the building. Eh, I don't know about this one. You think the guy's ahead of him? He might be, I guess. He actually lost, so this guy does have the truck, so here's the ultimate battle. Is the Bertha completely OP, or is stopping power just going to completely ignore the fact that this guy should probably not win this gunfight? Oh, not at this range either. He's dead. Oh, never mind, he's good. Oh, oh, don't peek it! Are you nuts? Challenging? Hitting him a couple times. Oh, he's rezzing. Getting. Oh, shit. Run! Run, Polo! Ah! Uh, that just felt like shit to watch. I'm going to be honest. I actually want to start running around with the Swiss. Like, everybody uses a car 98. I might just fuck around with the Swiss.